It doesn't feel yeah. real yet. It like, feels real to me. Okay. <laughs> we both have rings on. That's true, but I've had a ring on. That's fair. Anyway, There was a hideaway kind of, what was it, like five minutes from our apartment, which was a pretty crappy mm. apartment, and we just... Anyways, um, we went to hideaway and sat down at a booth. We were, you know, just eating and stuff, and then, of course, Joden storms in with his big personality and was our server. He came up to us, um, was as charismatic and charming as he's trying to be, and he asked Lily for her Snapchat, and I was like, okay, cool. I'm getting asked out on a date right then and there. Well, he came home from work, so he worked at Hideaway, which is the pizza place down the street that all the kids have worked at. Um, and he came home and he had, um, she was in, she had just moved to Oklahoma City and she, I think Kiki was with her. She and Kiki were there for dinner. Um, but he um, came home and talked about the girl that he'd gotten her number for while they were, while he was working um, a shift at Hideaway. Lily and I were Snapchatting after Hideaway, uh, just kind of basic get to know you kind of thing. Um, she was moving and so I had asked her if she wanted me to go and help them move uh, because they're two girls and very weak and I'm very strong so I wanted to help. And we hadn't really like hung out for that long so I was like no I'm not gonna have a stranger over at my house like three days after I moved to Oklahoma City. Uh, she kept telling me no they're like oh we got it it's okay it's like okay and so uh, I think a, like, it was like a couple of days had passed and then uh, she snapped me and was like hey I'm going to Lake Hefner do you want to come? I think I got there like 15 minutes early or I don't know, but I felt like I was there for forever. Um, he had offered to bring me Sonic and so I of course said yes. He brought me like a sweet teen, some mozzarella sticks, but he showed up without anything for him. So I kind of felt a little bit awkward that I had made him go get me Sonic. Uh, we had been kind of talking about getting married for a while. Um, and I think she thought I was mostly joking because I like to joke around a lot, but I was really serious about getting married. Um, I had started saving to uh, buy her a ring. Um, I sold my guitar to be able to buy her a ring um, and was stashing cash away. Um, and then around uh, August, September came, um, uh, we decided it was best to kind of talk to her parents to kind of let them know um, what was going on and what we felt like doing as far as getting married. She called me one day, I think it was, I don't know, August last year. And she was driving and called me and just, she was nervous. And, and I said, Lily, are you okay? Oh yes, it's because I need, I need, I need to tell you something. I said, what? Well, we're thinking Jody and I, we want to talk to you because we are having plans and, and okay, let me, and just, she tell me, um, I think Jody, uh, she want to ask me, Mary, to me, marry him. To marry me. And, and uh, I said, what? Her parents came down for a contest and uh, for one of her marching band contests and we all got together and talked and um, it was really cool and they kind of, uh, they approved of us getting married. For a young man to um, sit in a restaurant and talk to his girlfriend's parents and, and ask them, I would like your blessing, means that they're serious and that Jody loves Lily uh, enough so that they do the old fashioned thing and ask for something for the parents' blessing. And I figured, well, if he's got enough courage to do that, then he's probably the right guy. And he's showing Lily that he respects, you know, we're kind of old fashioned or a little bit more traditional. And so, you know, they're young and they're not, maybe not so traditional, but they did the traditional thing and sat us down and asked for our blessing. So that was a that was huge, at least for me. Uh, and so I figured 
boy, if he's willing to do that, then he must be the one. After that, I started planning things. And as soon as after that conversation is when I bought the ring. And it was a whole process because I had no idea what I was doing. And so Kiki helped me quite a bit um, to kind of get the ring and so forth. And then it came in. And the day it came in, actually, she had came over for lunch. And it was on my porch. And so we pulled in at the same time. And I, like, ran to the porch and grabbed the ring and, like, hit it. And, like, I kept laughing. And, like, she was like, why are you being like that? And she had no idea. And it was super funny. All right, hey, thank you guys so much for being here. Me and Lily really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we just wanted to celebrate with all of our families and friends and uh, have a good dinner tonight. Uh, so if you get drinks from the bar, that is on you. So you are paying for that. We are not paying for that. So make sure that you pay the bartender uh, for your drinks and stuff. So uh, we just wanna have a good night. Uh, we do know that none of you guys probably know each other. So make sure you meet somebody new and introduce yourself and you never know, it can be a good friendship that lasts forever. So uh, anyway, we really love you guys and we're thankful for you. We're gonna eat in a little bit, so uh, we'll just talk and then, yeah. I just need to hug a cat. Yeah, they can come in. Yeah. She just need to hug a cat. I just need to hug a cat. Almost like we're a franchise and we just kind of use their, their resources and all that. And so, so it's a little bit safer, but I see what you're saying. My life. <laughs> yeah, I'm really boring and <laughs> not fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold this. Um, I'm Caitlin, I'm one of the bridesmaids, I'm Lily's friend. Um, Lily, I'm so, so proud of you and so happy for you. Like thinking back to even like three years ago, there's no way I ever would have imagined, but I'm so happy for you. <laughs> no, no, but no, but really. And honestly, like I, Joda, I'm so happy to know you and I'm so happy that y'all are together. And I could not think of a better pairing since the very beginning. So I love y'all, congrats. Congratulations, Jordan and Lily. When I first heard y'all was getting married, I couldn't wait to meet Lily. <laughs> yes, my sister had talked so much about it, I was like, golly, Jordan's getting married? So Jordan, I'm just proud of you, man. You've been through a whole lot, man. This, you gotta look at it. This is gonna be another chapter in your life, man. So take care of Lily, man. Just like, like uh, my wife and myself, we've been married over 30 years, so just do what she say. <laughs> you, just do what she say. Even, even though you probably don't want to, but just, okay, then I'll do it. Just do what she say, but congratulations to the both of y'all. Have a good life. I'm just, I'm just trying to live out here. I'm just trying to survive. Catch my breath. It's that multicolored orange looking one. Oh dear God. Yes, she hasn't found her phone for like an hour. I 
love you guys and I'm so excited to see this happen between you two today and um, it's a great adventure and you're gonna love it. Thank you guys for being here. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm not gonna look at you. Cry down. Yeah, right, I gotta look down. <laughs> no, I'm not crying. <laughs> oh. Speaking of Karen, no, I'm just, no kidding. I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate you. I'm not looking at Molly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, Molly, stop. <laughs> I swear to god, Molly. <laughs> She's unhinged. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, I um I don't think I would see anyone else here with me today, so Ooh, don't do that. Oh, don't do God. that. Down at the ground, down at the ground. Right. Right. Ooh. Sorry, I had to be like Oh my gosh. Ah. No. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys a lot, so. <laughs> Carol's job. Oh, okay, I'll take over. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this is witchcraft. I don't think we ever uh, envisioned this day when we were in high school. <laughs> right. Um, much less us crying at it, but that's fine. We're not going to talk about it. Um, I think I just, congratulations. We love you. We love Joden. As much as we like to also hate on him. <laughs> she does. Don't look at I look straight at you. Dang it. <laughs> we all know that if any of us really didn't like him, you wouldn't be sitting here today. So. Um, now it's time to party, dude. We're gonna get right? it Right? You're gonna be a whole down, wife down. after oh, this. Right? So. <laughs> oh, man. oh, come on. Oh, ball. yeah. Go home, ball. There we go. Son of a gun. <laughs> hey, leave that one. Leave that one. Don't hit that yeah. one. Yeah. Yes, I can. All right, all right. All right, guys, I'm just going to finish this real quick. Let's Notify! I, need, I do know I need more of this stuff, for sure. I can What's tell. What's it called? Utah, this is cool, this stuff. It's called Billiard? Shut Up. Oh, <laughs> I got you Shut Up. Shoot. Ben, uh, no, hold on. It, you line it up. Look, See, Ben, is, look no, what you no, did, no. Ben. Do you think Cole's going to get this in? <laughs> Bro. No, there's not a I just put a little Cole magic fell on it. I just put a little magic fell on it. It didn't work. My spell didn't work. We know, Jody, that it's a special day. Uh, and that it's mostly been about Lily. Uh, Lily's colors, Lily's party, <laughs> yeah, Lily's bridesmaids. <laughs> um, you know, and it is about the bride. But Lily's mom and I um, want to make it about you as well. And so as a token of our love for you, Get emotional. Um, we got you something special. It's a, it's how much we love you, and it's also reflects the time that you're going to spend with our daughter. You can read this in private. Okay. But you can put this on now. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't Thank have you to put on a $10 watch. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I love you. I know. You can put on a $12. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> love you, so, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you it. Wear that today, all right? All right, I will. You put it on right now. All uh, right now, I will. Let's I will do it. that. Shower yeah. Shower the watch. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Look at their own. Uh, look at their own. Yeah. Make sure you're watching. I'm not, I'm not good with these kind of speeches. Uh, I don't even want to give a speech, but uh, I just want to thank all you guys for being here and uh, sharing this day with uh, me and Lily and our families and uh, our friends. So uh, each of you guys uh, mean a lot to me. Dang. <laughs> um, crap. Um, each of you guys mean a lot to me, and uh, I'm super thankful for each and every one of you and what you've meant in my life. And uh, kind of like what we talked about last night, my growth from when I met most of you guys when I was a freshman in college to now is just crazy and uh been part of all you guys' weddings and uh things that you're doing minus colin and preston but that's okay but uh I, yeah getting there uh but it's been it's been really cool and uh i i really value and honor uh the friendships of each of you 
Um, I really do. Each one of you guys are completely different people, and I love that. Um, and thank you guys for you know being my best buds and putting up with me because each of you know I'm very crazy sometimes. And so uh, I love you guys a lot. Um, I couldn't be doing this without you guys. So um, thankful for uh, each of you. And yeah, so. Again, I'm not good with these kind of things, but that's okay. So uh, I got suspenders for you guys. Uh, the cheapest ones we could find has like, <laughs> and I'm sure you guys all know that, but it has like little uh, like groomsmen and stuff on the back. So um, they're pretty cool. They're pretty fancy. So I'll pass those around to you. Yeah. No, don't clap for me. That's weird. Um, but yeah, I just want to say, Jody, I'm on, I think behalf of all of us, we love you. We're so proud of you and we're, we're so thankful for the man that you are, the man that you're becoming, um, and we're so thankful for for Lily. And um, you've got a good picker, <laughs> and we're we love just seeing you all together and seeing the way that you light up when you're around her, and how she lights up when she's around you. Um, I think just personally, uh, and I could get emotional too, but <laughs> but personally, just for me seeing the way that. JC has found so much friendship in Lily. I think sp speaks a lot. Yeah. Um, Lily is is so patient and so kind and so gentle. Um, and I think that speaks to the man that you are. That um, someone someone told me when I was in high school and I was dating around and trying to find the person that I wanted to be with. That you need to become the person that the person you're looking for is looking for. Mm. And I see that in both of y'all. Yeah. Um, I think you are the man that um, that Lily deserves, and I think she is the woman that you deserve. Uh, and I'm so grateful to be a part of this day. And I think again, all of us would say that we're we're so excited for you guys, and I'm so excited to see see how y'all kind of step forward as as one as a married couple. Um, and thank you for letting us be a part of this day. You ready? Okay. Oh no, maybe. No, actually, you go first. No, you got it. You're <laughs> no, going please. first. Oh, you gotta wait. go first. There's been so much crying today already. All right. Get my note card ready. All right, Joden. I I remember the second time we hung out. We were sitting either on my couch or my bed, and you said, "I'm gonna marry you one day." And I thought you were absolutely insane, but literally ever since that moment all you've done is show me how well you balance me out and like how perfect you are for me and so um i promise oh my gosh no i'm not frank first <laughs> i promise to love you support you respect you and i'll above all make sure i'm not yelling at you just because i'm hungry maybe <laughs> i might not remember that later but I promise to encourage you and appreciate you, and I even promise to let you hang out with the boys every once in a while. Um, I love you so much, and I cannot wait to be your wife. And that is it. <laughs> the end. They were short and sweet. I know, right? <laughs> Lily, from the moment I saw you, something inside of me changed. I never thought I could be so happy until I met you. You are so special to me and you illuminate my world. You bring out the best in me and you accept me through all of my weaknesses and my struggles. You love me like no one else can. I promise to be the man that you need me to be, honest, open, kind, and supportive, uh, and just to be your best friend. Even when tough times come, because they will, I will always be there for you and will fight for us no matter what comes our way. I am blessed to have, uh, I am blessed to have found such an amazing uh, companion in this lifetime. I promise to keep loving you endlessly. <laughs> I promise to keep loving you as long as we both shall live. You are a light that brightens up every room that you enter and every heart that is touched by your presence. You have changed my life by simply just being yourself. There's never a dull moment with us. You make it easy for me to enjoy life's little moments with you. You mean more to me than anything else in this world, even Texas football and my Legos. With you by my side, I know anything is possible from achieving you know, our career goals uh, to raising a family together someday. I am excited for what our future holds, Lily. 
These are my vows to you on the mark of our lifetime together. You will always be my beautiful Miss Shawty, babe. I love mm -hmm. you so much. I can't wait to be your husband. Oh, am I talking? <laughs> you can turn around. <laughs> Terrence is making you read it to me. I'm sorry? Terrence is making you read it to me. Yes. Yeah. No crying. No crying. I'm crying. No, it's really good. Thank you. There's a lot. <laughs> it's almost done. Yeah. Yeah. It's like an hour and a half. <laughs> it's a happy day. We love you so much. The first one is going to read for it because it's in Spanish. Okay. Spanish will not come to Oh, that's right. Because where's the Cause microphone? It's like right in here. Okay. No cry. 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 No Abrazamos tus ilusiones con el mismo amor que tú y yo dice tienen. Ver fotos tuyas a lo largo de 24 años y saber que en unas horas estarás casada y ah, se bajó, se bajó. <ríe> Una nueva vida junto a un buen hombre. Sé eso me hace sentir tranquila. Estoy segura de que él te cuidará como nosotros te hemos cuidado siempre durante todos estos años. Recuerda que siempre estaremos para ti, siempre. Que Dios los llene de bendiciones y de amor como nos ha tocado a tu papá y a mí. Eres una mujer extraordinaria y llena de valores y bondades, mi vida. No, así bajo, mamá. <ríe> Estamos seguros de que tendrás un hogar feliz y tranquilo y seguro como siempre. Nosotros Y tu hermano, te deseamos la mayor felicidad en esta nueva etapa de tu vida. Ahora Johnny es parte de nuestra familia. Y siempre los cuidaremos. Te queremos con todo el corazón. Well, love you, man. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. <laughs> That's it. It's done. Okay. Sweetie, it's a big day. Everything will turn out as planned. And it will be... A great and grand celebration for you and Jude. We're really happy that you two have found each other and you will soon be building a home and a life together. Like we told you from the very first day, we will always be here for you. Always. <laughs> in, the, in the meantime, here's a few things that I've learned <laughs> in the 25 years I've been with your mom. One, Choose your battles. You're Not like everything dirty. is worth fighting for. <laughs> Two, listen. Listening. Listening is hard because you're always thinking of your answer while the other person is talking. Yeah. Listening is loving. So if you love each other, listen to each other. Number three, disagreements and fights, they're normal. But fighting for days or even no or even overnight is not normal. You don't have to agree on everything, but it's better to agree to disagree than to fight forever. You are not always right. You are not always wrong. <laughs> Jonan is not always right. <laughs> and he's not always wrong. <laughs> the middle ground is much larger. Compromise is when you both win and nobody loses. And it's driven by the love that you have for each other. We're very proud of you, Gigi. Thank you. And wherever you are in life, and all the promises and hope you have in front of you, and now a good man to walk with you as you both grow in life and love together. We love you very much. Love you. <laughs> have you <been> okay? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Been dreaming all night, bringing me some.
some inspiration Never meant to love no one But baby I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way Don't wanna waste no time without you ever brightening up my days Never meant to fall so hard Oh man. <laughs> yeah. And who gives this woman to be wed today? Her mother and I. Oh man, this is some good. Which one? Yes. <laughs> You may be seated. <laughs> it's okay. We are gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together Jodan and Lily in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God in the innocence of Eden, symbolizing the mystical union of Christ and his church. The holy estate Christ adorned and sanctified with his presence and first miracle that he performed in Cana of Galilee. And the writer of Hebrews commended as being honorable among all people. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, or rever but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. And in this holy estate, these two persons now come to be joined. I'm going to invite the mothers to come because we recognize that Jodan and Lily have not come to this day on their own but as a result of families which have brought them into this world and supported them and encouraged them as well as a family of community oh my gosh. that has brought them together this and so <laughs> And so the mothers have brought sand that represent both Jilly, <laughs> Jilly, <laughs> Jordan and Lily. That's your, that's your, that's our new ship name. Your new yeah. ship name. There that's you go. Good. Jilly. That's good. I gave it to you. Here you go. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> but they represent the life that they have given to Jordan and Lily. So they'll pop the cork. Jordan, Denzel Jackson, and Liliana Angelica Fuentes. I require and charge both of you to stand in the presence of God, to remember that the commitment to marriage is a commitment to permanence. It is the intent of God that your marriage be for life and that only death will separate you. If the vows that you exchange today are to be kept without violation, and if you seek always to know and do the will of God, your lives will be best with his presence and your home will abide in his peace. Jodan, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's holy ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love, comfort, 
honor and keep her in sickness and in health. Forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live. I do. I will. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance and holy estate of matrimony? Will you love and comfort, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him, so long as you both shall live? I will. Will you, as parents, and as a community who loves Joden and Lily, will you support them in this journey of marriage and in the days ahead? <laughs> Joden and Lily, you are clearly the offsprings of loving families. And as we seek to honor those traditions, those independent families that have brought you to this point. I want us to move to the sand because the representing colors are your uniqueness. It's the things that make you independent and beautiful. But as you poured the sand into this jar, the colors will represent each of you and the uniqueness that is the distinct Lily and the distinct Joden. Go ahead. I appreciate that you put the white sand at the bottom. <laughs> representing the, the basis, the foundation that your marriage has in Christ. Let that be the decision that you will continue to make each day as you seek to honor each other in your love for one another. I hold in my hand the rings that you've chosen for each other. These are beautiful rings. Well crafted, shiny, <laughs> impressive. <laughs> But the value of these rings is not in their monetary worth. The value of these rings is so much more than their stone value or their melt worth, whatever. The value of these rings is in the significance of the covenant that you are making with one another. Because over time, these rings will fade. They might get smashed or damaged, <laughs> might need to be replaced. And that's not going to change the value because the value is in the covenant that they hold between the two of you, that they represent so much more. Let that covenant be reminded to you each time you take that ring off or put it on, as you look at it through the day, as you play with it over the next couple of weeks, <laughs> let it be a reminder of the excitement of the life that you have together. The covenant that you are making before God today. Joden, will you take the ring? And repeat after me. <laughs> A little bit longer. <laughs> With this ring. With this ring. I V wed. I V wed. And I give you as a token. And I give you as a token. Of my love. Of my love. And it's a pledge. And it's a pledge. Of my constant fidelity. Of my constant fidelity. It's cool. Yeah, cool. <laughs> oh gosh. Drop it. <laughs> Lily, repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And I give you. And I give you. As a token. As a token. Of my love. Of my love. And as a pledge. And as a pledge. Of my constant fidelity. Of my constant fidelity.
Let me pray for you guys. Lord, this covenant we make before you. And Lord, I ask is the days ahead will be filled with joy and excitement and great potential as you seek to bless Lily and Joden and their obedience. Lord, I pray that you would also be with them in the days of difficulty and challenge and that you would protect them, but that their bond and their love for one another would only continue to grow and to mature as they grow into the men and the women who you have called them to be. Lord, I also pray for their future family. Lord, that you would bless them with a great inheritance that they would be able to pass on the traditions that they have brought to this day and that they would know that you are guiding them, that you are giving them wisdom and direction. Thank you, Lord. We love you. Amen. Amen. For as much as this woman and this man have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company and have declared the same by joining of hands, I pronounce by the power vested in me <laughs> that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no man put us under. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was absolutely amazing. I loved it. It was so beautiful. Me and Bryce were standing at the back with the groomsmen just talking about how beautiful the arch was, looking at all the butterflies flying around around it, and then Lily and Joden right underneath. It was just picture perfect. An absolutely amazing time. Oh, I was focused more on Joden to see if he was going to cry or not. And then he, uh, when she was walking down, I couldn't see her because everybody was standing. I looked over at Joden and he was crying and he said, oh, dang it. I just thought that was awesome because we all knew he was going to cry. We all knew it. Our boys married. Our yeah, little. I'm, I'm feeling great. Our little bird Super has flown excited. the coop. I'm very excited also. <laughs> it's about dang time. We're hoping That's it goes well. It's a beautiful feeling. ceremony. 100%. I think it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I cried. John cried. I Joe teared up a little bit. His eyes Dude, out. Bryce, he, he peed his, Bryce peed his pants a little bit. Just a tad. Had to change just in case. But <laughs> that's. that's what you <laughs> We just got married. And now it's time to party. It is my honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Joden Jackson. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm very a person who doesn't get overwhelmed a lot. Yeah. Are you a little overwhelmed? A little. Super overwhelmed. It's a lot. Yeah. Wow. Terrence is hearing everything. All right. Ready for a twirl? Oh, we can try it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we can try All right. It. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We can cut it now, I think. Yeah? Okay. We can cut it. Yeah. yeah. I want to look back at him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Okay, when I was a sophomore in college, the semester had ended and it was time to figure out where to live. Uh, almost having to be in the dorms again, I was approached by a friend who asked if I wanted to live in an apartment with her and our former sorority sister. And the first friend happened to be Carol and her friend happened to be Lily. Since we were still new to being roommates, we went out on an adventure to Walmart and the movies. While leaving Walmart, I was thinking to myself how excited I was to have a roommate and anyone who knows me knows when I'm excited, I talk. And I guess Lily was still learning this because before we headed to the movies, she looks over and says, 
do you ever stop talking? <laughs> and me, <laughs> me being the petty woman that I am, my response was, fine, I won't talk for the rest of the night. And I didn't. When the movie was over, Lily was both shocked and mortified <laughs> that I didn't talk the entire movie and profusely apologized. That's when I knew that God had given me a new best friend. If I've learned anything from my Joden stories, it's that no matter what, Joden's gonna stand by you. Joden is loyal, he's gonna stick with you through the ups and downs in life, even if you punch him in the face, he's gonna stick with you. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm just so honored to be a part of this night. I'm so honored to be a witness uh, to the merging of two lives, and I'm so excited to see the adventures and the joy and the stories that come out of your marriage. Um, Cheers to y'all. Love you guys. Liliana and Liliana. We don't have more children because we don't have more names. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so my dad and I, if any of you, I know we have friends here, we did a pilgrimage. Um, it's called the Way of St. James or the Camino de Santiago in Spain. And it's a it's a pilgrimage that's over a thousand years old where people walk miles and miles to go see the remains of St. James the Apostle who's buried in northern Spain. He's buried in Santiago Compostela. And so my dad and I, when he was in his 70s, we decided to do this walk. It's 450 miles. We didn't do it all at once because he was old. <laughs> And I didn't have that much vacation, so we, we'd take a week every summer, we'd fly to Spain, and we'd walk 100 kilometers each way until we walked the whole thing. We walked 800 kilometers together over seven years. My dad's passed now, but you see his picture in the, other, in the other room. But what we learned at the Camino de Santiago, what we learned in the way of St. James, is that every single day that you walk and you're in your journey, a miracle occurs every single day. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't, but a miracle happens every single day. And so what I think about today is all y'all, speaking in Texan, all y'all had a Camino, had a journey, and the miracle that we see today is right here. So,
I was gonna wait. I didn't wanna do it right now. Just told me to. Your like lipstick's like huh? all over me. <laughs> yeah, it is. I have so much. You got lip plupper on. I was like, I was like, is that cake that I taste? But it was lipstick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it because again? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Different. Ready? I feel amazing. I'm so excited for Joe's new Lily. Y'all gonna have the best life ever. Congratulations. I love y'all. Uh, and, and the videographer? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs>